Well, welcome back. Oil prices are surging this morning, both Brent oil and crude oil topping $130 a barrel in the overnight session, hitting prices not seen since July of 2008. Right now, the price of crude is at 121 and a half. That's up 5 percent. Brent is at 124 and change. That's up almost 6 percent. These numbers are well off of the highs of the morning. Gasoline prices are also up, hitting $4 a gallon for the first time in over a decade, up 40 cents from just a one week ago. The price of gas Gas on average at 406, but in some places in California, it's between six and seven dollars a gallon right now. Joining me right now is the chairman and CEO of United Refining Company, Gristidis D'Agostino Foods and Red Apple Group. John Katsimatidis is here. John, it's great to have you. And the last time we were talking, the last time you joined me on this program, you said oil is going to go higher. You were right, spot on. You say this crisis is making Americans poorer while making OPEC and Russia, Russia richer. To assess the situation for us right now. Right now, that uh, uh, in the month of March, uh, I think uh, the uh, uh, Fed chair was wrong on the 8% rate on inflation. I think it's going to be much higher because the, the price of crude oil right now uh, will reflect uh, 5 to $6 uh, gasoline, and that then will reflect it in food prices and all other prices. So, it, it's insane what's going on that we got 110, 115, 130 dollar crude oil, and then we are negotiating uh, with Venezuela, which is dumber, uh, dumber than dog doo doo, uh, because Venezuela is a subsidiary of Russia right now. I mean, it's it, it's really dumb, Maria. And what we should be doing, the president of the United States should sit down with. Canada, Mexico, and ourselves, and say, North America, let's make ourselves energy uh, uh, independent. I mean, that is the way a president of the United States should be doing it. I just, nobody can understand why, you know, when they tried to impeach Trump when he was favoring Putin. What do you call this? I mean, it's insane what's going on. And the war with the Ukraine did not have to happen. But I am afraid, yeah. Maria. I am very much afraid that we're wagging the dog because, you know, it, they, it's an election year and, and they need a situation where the American people go and support the president of the United States in that respect yeah. by, by the conflict that's going on. I mean, I, we all saw the movie, Wag the Dog. And the other thing that concerns yeah. me, Maria, is a lot of the federal agencies have become politicized and the Fed. I think uh, I did say to you, I thought it was only going to be a quarter point. I did that. I told Larry Kudlow, uh, because you've got an election year. I don't see yeah. many, many more raises till after the election. Well, you, you've got, you've got your can, hand, you've got your hand in so many areas. You've, you're in the cat, you're in the cat seat, John. We know that because you are in the oil business, you're in the food business, you're in the grocery business, and this war in Ukraine is driving inflation at U.S. farms, retailers, supermarkets. Food prices are up more than 20 percent globally. Wheat prices are exploding. They're at 14-year highs as Russia's invasion tightens supplies there. John, I want to get your take because what you just said is really important and a I want you to explain it to us. The, the price of inflation right now is calculating oil prices where they were a month ago. We're talking about oil hitting 130 overnight. What does that mean for inflation? We'll get the consumer price index out this Thursday. We're expecting to see 8% year over year. How does this higher oil prices lead to higher overall consumer prices? Connect the dots for us, Katz. Year over year, it might be a little bit, it'll be higher than 8%. I think it'd be nine, nine and a half, that my opinion. But because the prices of $120 crude oil have not been reflected yet, if $120 maintains that level, then the month, uh, March and April, you'll see $6 or so $7 or, uh, gasoline at the gas station and much more higher prices. So if if the price maintains 120, 130 on the uh, barrel, then uh, you'll see double coupons. Instead of seven and a half, you'll see maybe 15% by, uh, uh, by April or May.
So, John, are you expecting to raise prices to keep up with this on the producer level? If Procter & Gamble raises my price, their price to me, I have to raise my price to the consumer. Yeah. And, and John, do you think this is going, to, is going to lead to recession? Real quick. Well, eventually it's going to done. Eventually, the consumer is going to say enough is enough. This is crazy. And they, yeah. the president has to sit down and bring back production to North America. And, and he has to say enough is enough. Forget about making the, uh, the OPEC and Russia and Venezuela. I mean, I, nobody understands that. And one per, some people in the, uh, uh, in the White House have said to me, you know what they said to me, Maria? Well, if the prices what? of gasoline go high enough, people will, will love to have electric cars sooner. Right. Well, that's why most people say this is intentional. They want to get the price to a level that is not doable for people, so they actually have to change their behavior. It's intentional. We've talked about this before. John, you made a great point on policy. Everything's about the climate change agenda. Even the banks, they want to put this person in there uh, who has said in the past that major banks should not be lending to fossil fuel companies. It's absolutely extraordinary. You hit it nail spot on. John Katz Matidi, it's good to see you this morning. Thank you so much, sir. We Thank will catch you, up soon.